Our very salvation depends upon us being willing to forgive others. As Christ taught, quote, if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses, close quote. That our own forgiveness should be conditioned on forgiving others can be a hard doctrine, particularly if the sin against us was horribly wrong and out of all proportion to any harm we've ever committed. Our salvation is conditioned on forgiving others because when we refuse to forgive, what we're really saying is that we don't quite trust the Lord or that we reject his atonement. And it is our acceptance of the atonement that ultimately saves us. It heals us not only for the guilt we suffer when we sin, but it also heals us from the sins and hurts of others. If we can inherit all that the Father has, and if all will be restored to its perfect frame, is there a reason we should insist that the person who hurt us pay us back? Hasn't justice been satisfied? Now, it's critical to understand that forgiving others is not just a practical virtue. It's a profound act of faith in the atonement and the promise that the Savior's sacrifice repays not just our debts to others, but also the debts of others to us. In our live and let live society, we may believe that forgiving is just etiquette and good manners. It is not. We may think that forgiveness requires us to let mercy rob justice. It does not. Forgiveness does not require us to give up our right to restitution. It simply requires that we look to a different source. Forgiveness doesn't mean minimizing the sin. It means maximizing our faith in the atonement.